Hello, hello, and today I'm going to show you a whole bunch of different wallets that can hold cents, as well as being able to do a whole bunch of other cool things on the blockchain. Because if you have cents, how are you going to hold it with a wallet? Let's jump straight into it. The Wombat Wallet is not just for mobile phones, but there's also a desktop application version as well. On top of being able to hold your cryptos and trade between them using new decks, you can also play tons and tons of crypto games on it. It's designed to be very user friendly and easy to use. So if you're a first time beginner in crypto or a crypto gamer, I recommend checking out Wombat. EOS Chat is a mobile app based wallet. It's not only just a wallet, but it also functions as a chat application that allows you to communicate over a private peer-to-peer -peer network. And on top of that, you can send crypto to the other person right in the chat stream. And if you have an EOS account, then you have an EOS chat account as the communication is over the blockchain. Nova is an app-based wallet that lives between multiple blockchains, opening up even more cryptos for you to use. On top of that, they do have a lot of support for EOS like staking and voting, and a very detailed market section that shows the price of all the cryptos to help you better with your daily trading. So if you're the kind of person that's on the move, lives in between blockchains, and needs a simple app to use, I recommend checking out Nova. Bancor is a web-based exchange? That's right, Bancor is an exchange, but they also have an option for you to set up a wallet on their network, allowing you to not only store your tokens with them, but to also help you take advantage of all the options and power that the Bancor network has to offer. And if you want to know even more about the Bancor network and how you can use it to get so much sends, well, I have a helpful little video right up here that I highly recommend that you go check out. Scatter is a desktop application based wallet. They not only support EOS, but they support many other blockchains as well. And you might be familiar with it because I've used it Scatter for almost every single one of my exchange tutorials because almost every single exchange except Scatter. It's a great wallet to use if you're running around the internet doing lots and lots of trading because they'll almost always accept Scatter. And if that's not enticing enough for you, maybe the easy to use interface will, or perhaps the fact that they have tons and tons of crypto games. So if you're either looking to exchange tons of crypto around the internet sphere, or if you just want to play some crypto games on your coffee break, I recommend checking out Scatter. Simple EOS, or I assume that's how you're supposed to say the name, is a desktop application wallet that focuses exclusively on the EOS network. Because of this, they can offer powerful tools that aren't just staking and voting, but also advanced things like contracts. And if you're not interested in that advanced EOS stuff and you're looking for just an EOS specific wallet, they have you covered too. Because of their slick, nice interface, it's easy to use and it will be no problem at all to manage multiple wallets on this. So if you're someone who is a high-end developer or someone who just wants to do one token at a time, I recommend checking out Simple EOS. Ledger is a hardware wallet. And if you're not familiar with what a hardware wallet is, it's a tiny little device that lives outside of your computer and holds all of your sensitive crypto information inside of it. And the only way you can trade tokens off of it is by physically plugging it into a computer and telling it, yes, I would like to trade, please. The security of a hardware wallet is unrivaled by anything else out there, but if it sounds a bit complicated and hard to set up, do not worry because Ledger has you covered. They're designed to be very easy to use and on top of having a desktop and mobile application making it very easy to transfer tokens over to your ledger, they also have a very good customer support that are willing to help you through any blockers you might be having. So if you need some tight security for your sends, consider checking out Ledger. Trezor is another hard wallet that supports over a thousand different cryptocurrencies. How crazy is that? As well as having really high security, it is customizable. So not only can you get the most security possible for your cryptocurrency, but it can be tailored to specifically what you need as the individual. 
They also have a support team and customer line that are willing and ready to help you with anything you need to set up your Trezor wallet. So if you're the kind of person who loves finicking around with settings and customizing everything, then be sure to check out Trezor. Whew, that was a lot. But out of all those wallets, I'm sure one of them will fit you best. And if you can't decide, let us know in the comments or our social pages, links are in the description, and we'll help you find the best way that you can get your sense. As well, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel if you haven't already, because we'll have many, 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 many more wonderful, stupendous, amazing videos coming out for people like you in the near future. But until then, I'll be chatting on Sense Chat. Bye!